Hey guys, uh, welcome to this channel weekly and I'm Narik. In this video, I'll be talking about the difference between a smart contract which is normally used in other blockchain platforms and the chain code which is specific to Hyperledger Fabric. So the mode would be by mind mapping and you can download this mind map from the link pro provided below in this description. Before we get into the business, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get updates of all the videos that are being uploaded in this channel. So without any delay, let's get started. So what is the difference between the smart contract and the chain code? In all the blockchain platforms, the business logic is called the smart contract. The smart contract capable blockchain platforms follow the order execute architecture whereas the chain code follows execute order and validate architecture and the smart contract the consensus protocol validates and orders transactions then propagates them to all the peer nodes now each peer executes the transactions sequentially the order execute architecture is normally found in uh, public permissionless uh, platforms like Ethereum and also in permission platforms such as uh, Tendermint and Chain. Uh, smart contracts executing in the blockchain that operates with order executive architecture must be deterministic otherwise you cannot uh, get the consensus cannot be reached. So to address this uh, non-deterministic issues Many platforms require that a smart contract should be written in a specific domain specific language, something like Solidity. So all transactions are executed sequentially by all nodes. In that sense, the scalability and the performance is reduced because of the smart contracts. Chain code. The smart contracts in Hyperledger Fabric are called chain code. So the fabric introduce architecture which is execute, order and validate instead of order execute. So the transaction flow is separated into three steps. In the executive step, the transaction checks the correctness and then endorses it. In the order, all the transactions are ordered by means of some consensus protocol and in the validation they are validated against a application specific endorsement policy before committing to the ledger. So what happens is that there is a parallel execution which increases the overall performance and the scale of the system. So this enables to write in any I mean some of the standard programming languages like Go, Node.js and Java. So this is the main difference between a smart contract which is used in other blockchain platforms and the chain code which is specific to the Hyperledger fabric. That's all for this video. Thank you for staying with me. We'll be uploading a new video soon. Till then, sign on.